uh, today uh, a number of young students moving away from studying science mm. and technology. That's right. And, and it's a glo exactly. global problem. It's not it's only, a global, for not only China, yes, not a, yes, uh, because uh, you have to fight against the lifestyle mm. which is changing. In auto automotive industry, for example, mm. Thailand is very good. Mm. We yes. are a hub of the... Swadika, welcome to Thailand today. I'm Kusumayo Tasmut as your host. The Ministry of Science and Technology has a clearly laid out strategy to increase and leverage the country's socio-economic development capacity over the next 15 years in order to avoid the dreadful middle income trap. Homegrown innovation will be prioritized to tackling emerging challenges such as aging society and poverty, while a new generation of youth and young children will be encouraged to embrace technology and innovation early. Our guest today is Dr. Piche Durong Kowei Road, the Science and Technology Minister, who will share with us the government's vision on innovation, creation, and path the country is taking towards international recognition. We are honored to welcome Your Excellency Dr. Pichet Durong Kowei Road. He is from the Science and Technology Minister. He is the Minister of Science and Technology. Sawadee Welcome to Thailand today, sir. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Well, sir, we would like to start off with the knowledge of the Thai people, children. We we normally thinking that the Thai do not um, we're not very good at science and uh, and technology. What do you think as a minister? Well, uh, that statement uh, is changing quite uh, a bit today. Yes, uh, practically because uh, nowadays science, technology, and especially innovation mm. is now uh, vital mm. for national economic development yeah. or even social development. Mm. And it's something that uh, our young generation uh, uh, can be very much uh, interested, partly because of the advancement or progress in technology today. Mm all around yes. us, even within our bodies. Uh -huh. We have a lot of technologies. Uh, yes, yes. When we wake up in the morning, we look at uh, our, our chat first or thing, our first emails, thing. first thing, right? <laughs> so exactly. we cannot not deny the fact that uh, technology is now uh, very pervasive mm -hmm. and uh, it's uh, very suitable, especially to our young people because to them, it's like mm. a piece of toy. Yes, exactly. Uh, but to us, it's something that we have to struggle yeah. a little bit, yes. right? So I would say that nowadays is uh, an opportune time uh, for any government uh, to exercise uh, the fact that uh, we can uh, design our policy uh, so that it would be adjustable uh, to their mm. lifestyle mm. or even their career mm. or their mm. occupation mm. through the role of science, technology and innovation. Mm. And uh, I'm sure that uh, uh, especially youth in Thailand now, uh, mm. very keen. It's a matter of us trying to provide them with a proper ecosystem mm. for them mm. to grow. Mm. That's very important because being supported by elders or being supported by government especially. So how much is our government is supporting on this matter? Uh, we have been doing quite a lot, mm. uh, especially for the past uh, 12 months. Yeah. Uh, starting from the fact that we realized mm. uh, earlier uh, that uh, today uh, a number of young students are moving away from studying science mm. and technology. That's right. And, and it's a glo exactly. global problem. It's not it's only a global, for... Not only yes, not yes, a, uh, because there are other things. Yeah. And uh, globalization, mm. uh, ease of uh, searching for information mm. or knowledge, yes, sir. and the role, uh, the dominant role of entertainment uh, in our young generation. Exactly. You know? So it, it is my task, mm. especially as Minister of Science and Technology, mm. to, uh, to find ways in order to get them back to study science, technology, mm. uh, which is not so simple mm. uh, because uh, you have to fight against the lifestyle, mm. which is changing. You have to struggle against uh, uh, the occupations, some of which mm. uh, our young people think that studying is too hard yeah. and the compensation once they graduate mm. is not enough for them. 
So in doing so, uh, we need to be very strategic. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, we need to try to encourage the business people uh, that uh, need to attract recruit mm -hmm. and attract a young generation to do mm -hmm. more technology. Mm -hmm. May it be technical mm -hmm. or may it be uh, 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 design. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, to do so, it needs to be very attractive. Of course. And how to be attractive in the business today, uh, first of all, the challenge must mm -hmm. be high. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yes. Secondly, the compensation or the salary, mm -hmm. put it simply, must be attractive enough. Attractive to them, yes. And thirdly, logistically, usually mm. they, mm. they look for something that's very convenient mm. to them. Uh, so I think uh, apart from private sector, we also, from the government point of view, we also mm. need mm. to uh, improve upon our education system mm. so that it will be best, less boring yeah. and more challenging. More challenging. Yeah. So we did talk to the Minister of uh, Education the other day. They were trying to change the timing of uh, studying and all that. So maybe this is a coincide with uh, what you are doing. Uh, certainly, uh, mm -hmm. our Prime Minister has uh, instructed uh, mm -hmm. us, the whole cabinet, mm -hmm. uh, in particular Ministry of Education, education. you know, to, to spare a few hours mm -hmm. each day mm -hmm. uh, to get uh, students outside of the, the traditional curriculum mm -hmm. and get them to do something interesting, mm -hmm. something that would excite them, yeah. something that would uh, be practical in, in their, uh, their daily living, mm. uh, as well as something that's uh, frontier enough yeah. so that it will capture their mm. imagination. Mm. You know, sometimes, as Einstein said, mm. imagination is probably, probably more, important more important than, than knowledge. Than right? Exactly. Yeah. So what we are talking about here is to try to be very creative mm. in designing. Mm. It does not have mm. to be a textbook. Mm. You know, yeah. it, it can be projects, mm. it can be uh, teamwork, it can be uh, uh, research, mm -hmm. independent mm -hmm. research, mm -hmm. or it can be sports, uh, arts, arts, or yes. in the integration of science and arts mm -hmm. together, which mm -hmm. is possible yeah. today. Yeah. Right? So I, I think it's a challenging time, and the government is uh, trying to do its best in order to uh, get us out of the, the traditional loop uh, mm -hmm. of uh, study and education. Uh, which are not exciting enough. Mm -hmm. Listen to your Excellency, I feel good because uh, it seems that we are progressing. So what exactly now we're moving on to the innovation. So what is exactly the innovation that we are trying to do? Well, we, we know the word science. Mm -hmm. We know the word technology. Yes. We know the word research. Uh -huh. In the past few decades, we have been doing a lot. Yes. Not only Thailand, I think mm. every country, mm. uh, especially in ASEAN countries, mm. we, we have a committee of uh, science and technology, oh, right. which uh, I, I, I joined last oh, week oh, in uh, P Lao PDR. Uh, uh, and we talk about this sort of thing, uh, yeah, yeah. right? Uh, so uh, the, the, the problem uh, of, of these three words mm. is that uh, a lot of times, uh, once accomplished, mm. it does not translate or transfer the wealth of knowledge into mm. practical mm. use mm. such as commercialization of yeah. products and services okay. yeah. or practical yeah. use of the community uh, yes. to for in, in their daily living yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. so innovation mm. uh, in in a simple term yeah. uh, should refer to uh, uh, science technology or even non-science non-technology and that can deliver the usefulness oh. to the public, uh -huh. to the business, okay. to the communities, right. to education. Uh, okay? So okay. That's, that's a very uh, simple way to say it, mm. but uh, easier said than done. Mm, uh, yes. uh, yeah. uh, so what the Thai government is now doing, uh, uh, we are uh, creating a number of policies, a lot of policies mm. actually, mm. Uh, ranging from uh, taxation policy mm -hmm. in order to yes. uh, attract them to do more. Uh -huh. uh, uh, infrastructure, mm. uh, legal, mm -hmm. uh, as well as uh, technical uh, cooperation mm. uh, so that uh, innovation can, uh, in simple term, can move from uh, laboratory shelves 
to the market. The market yeah. Yeah. But uh, it, this kind of innovation needed support, by financially support. So in this sense, uh, do you think that there are, there are capacity, the capability of the Thai people, Thai business to do so? To uh, I, I don't doubt the capacity oh. of, of the business or even uh, of our uh, young people. Uh -huh. uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, what, what we need as a nation is to try to, first of all, provide opportunities for these people. Mm -hmm. uh, secondly, uh, opportunity alone must come with some practical mm -hmm. environment. Mm -hmm. So we need to construct some kind of uh, ecosystem for them. Mm -hmm. And by ecosystem, we, we, we talk about uh, most recently, we have uh, endorsed a number of policies in order to allow uh, small and medium enterprises, mm -hmm. ah, yes. as well as startups, to enjoy some tax benefits mm -hmm. if they do innovation, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, up to up to the level of providing tax incentive for individual, mm -hmm. if they do innovation, to be able to exempt from uh, paying uh, mm -hmm. personal income tax pay, even. Yeah, yeah. So that that is very proactive uh, in in that sense. Uh, we also have uh, a number of schemes mm. in order to uh, provide technical assistance mm. to these SMEs, SMEs as well yes. as startups yes. uh, in order for SME to improve their productivity level, mm. for startup to mm. be able to know what mm. sort of business they, they, they are getting involved. Mm -hmm. Uh, because we must understand startups comes with ideas, mm. comes with creativity. Exactly. They may not be uh, so keen about how to do business plan. Mm. They probably don't know, uh, you know how to make profit or what sort of marketing they need to do. Mm -hmm. So yes. uh, it's this kind of ecosystem that uh, mm. we have been positioning mm. Thailand and mm. we have done a great deal, mm. but we'll do more yeah, in the coming we, months. Yeah, yeah, uh, in coming months, there's a good promise that uh, we need it. So what is the positioning of Thailand uh, doing in the international stage? When you said that you've been uh, consulting and you've been uh, associated with the ASEAN country, how about us in the international stage? Well, I, I, I would not say who's ranking what, yeah. uh, because uh, sometimes it's out of uh, proper context. Of course. But yeah. I would say that mm. uh, 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 international cooperation is quite mm -hmm. important mm -hmm. because now there is, is a glo uh, globalized world mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of uh, supply chain activities need, mm -hmm. need the cooperation mm -hmm. of uh, many countries, yes. many firms mm -hmm. uh, to work together. Okay. Uh, in auto automotive industry, for example, mm -hmm. Thailand is very good. Uh, we yes. are a hub of the uh, uh, automotive industry. Uh, but in we ASEAN? Are, in Asia? ASEAN, I, I would say in Asia. In Asia. In oh Asia, yeah. uh, uh, partly because we, we have gained strength uh, through, throughout uh, the past three decades mm. on the uh, automobile parts and components. Mm. We are very good at that. Mm. We are very good at assembly, mm -hmm. right? And at the same time, now there are more research activities uh, of those international firms and companies who are located in mm -hmm. Thailand mm -hmm. to do more research. Mm -hmm. And once they do that, and I'm sure you, you know if I name names mm -hmm. uh, who they are, yeah. uh, it, it will mean that uh, Thailand would be a, a, a long-term hub uh, uh, of the automotive industry. And uh, innovation comes into play at uh, this point in time. Mm, so, so this one, uh, Thailand has been developed uh, talent and uh, intelligence to support this economy and then make it as a force. So however uh, small in the field, we're still in small in this field. Uh, well, if you talk about human resource, mm. uh, we, we have a large number of researchers mm. today mm. In, in many sectors, mm. right? Uh, uh, however, we also need to look at the whole chain of uh, human resource development mm. from primary school, mm, uh, yeah. science and science education that. in primary yeah, school, exactly. uh, career path mm. for those who are mm. entering universities, mm. uh, as well as uh, those who are keen to be scientists or researchers, mm. Mm. encourage them to do more. Mm. Uh, and this needs to, to bundle together because if you can do well at the primary school level mm -hmm. in science, mm -hmm. then you don't have too much difficulty mm -hmm. to encourage them further mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, in doing so, we need, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, a clear picture of where 
the careers in science and technology and innovations mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. uh, how can they be absorbed mm. uh, if they are vocational of students course, yeah. or if they are graduates mm -hmm. from universities mm -hmm. or postgraduates in universities? Uh, and how we can encourage them with mm. uh, competition, contests, and prize mm. uh, once they, they were still in the primary and secondary school level. Mm. And I must say that uh, Thailand has been doing very well mm. in gifted education. Mm. Uh, each year today, we are producing uh, at the top, top level, mm. uh, maybe about 3,000 students a year. Uh, and, and for the top, but probably more distributed in yeah. style, uh -huh. uh, in, in terms of uh, science classroom instead uh -huh. of science school, uh -huh. probably another additional 5,000. So, so in all, we, we have about 8,000 a year. Mm. That, that can, can be the engine of growth really? that pull the whole train uh, forward. Oh, well, yeah. And why do they rank Thailand education is so low? Uh, I, I think you have to look at uh, details. I, I'm not quite <laughs> sure whether uh, a, a macro uh, a cumulative picture like that mm. can really express the mm. education uh, status of a country. Mm. Uh, if you ask me, I mm. can pinpoint to you where the excellences are. Mm. I'm glad to hear that. But at the same time, we also must admit that mm. we have certain uh, weaknesses mm. uh, that we have to address. Mm. And there are rooms for improvement for sure, mm. especially the connectivity between education and career, mm. education and the, In, private, and sector, the private sector. Yes. Right? And yeah. at the same time, how to, how to uh, uh, educate our kids mm. so that uh, they, they can absorb both dimensions the in-depth dimension, mm. they know so well uh, electrical engineering, mm. but at the same time today it's all integrated, right? Language. So we are, yes, well, yeah, you, even know, they, you, yes. You, you need to know what society uh, exactly. we, we are living in, yeah, yes. you need to know about the environmental issue, mm. you need to know about water management system, mm. you know, so apart from the in-depth uh, knowledge. Mm. Uh, now today we also need to look at the broader issue of mm. how to make sure that uh, our students at least at the minimum level mm. would have a broad understanding of socialization, mm. Mm -hmm. of social issues, mm -hmm. of ethics, yes. of teamwork, mm. and of ability to learn, mm -hmm. which is lifelong learning. Yeah. So they become like a kind of a strategy to encourage or to exploit them to progress into the innovation or the into the international level. Mm -hmm. So this is this is a strategy that you're doing. Yes, uh, and and uh, if if you refer to mm. uh, the whole thing that I said, mm. we are not talking about a single ministry. Mm. We are talking about the whole the government whole, yeah. and the integration of mm. uh, in for the mm. case of Thailand, twenty ministries together. Mm. Uh, uh, ministries also have to work with the private sector. Ministries mm. also have to work with the community, with education, and so on. So it, it's it a management of a complex system, oh. if you ask me. But yeah. it's doable, yeah, uh, yeah. but it needs a lot of political will. Yeah, yeah. And today we have strong uh, political leader, yeah. uh, and, and we have a, a strong government mm. uh, that uh, is uh, very straightforward in this uh, endeavor and uh, very clear mm. in our objective mm. in getting our country up and running. Mm. Uh, get out of all those oh. confusion, yes. you know, and uh. get out of all those uh, inactiveness. Mm. Uh, yes. Something that we have been doing uh, a lot of hard work, mm. uh, but, but uh, life goes on and we will work harder. Uh, but the problem of Thailand, I mean, to the foreign people also may think that uh, this is may not be uh, permanent. It will be for a time here and there, and then we drop off again. So are you strong enough to, to, to lay the foundation, a strong one? I would ask back, <laughs> are you strong enough? <laughs> Individual Thai mm -hmm. citizens, mm -hmm. if they have the common agenda, mm -hmm. if they know that it's the same direction that we are moving ahead. Mm. For example, mm. get Thailand out of the middle income trap. Mm. Mm. For example, get the society to have high level of harmony. Mm. You know, mm. stop all these nonsense Conflicts. quarrels. Mm -hmm. Stop all these corruptions. Mm -hmm. Then we will move ahead. Mm. It's not up to the mm. government, mm. it's up to the people. But the government is doing its best 
to yes. engage our people to mm. understand that we can be one. Mm. We can work with diverse opinions, mm -hmm. but same destiny. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not suggesting that we all have to think the yes, same. Yeah. Yeah. We can think exactly. differently, mm -hmm. but if our destiny is, uh, is, is the same and mm -hmm. we have the unity to, uh, to an approach to go there, to go there then yeah. uh, we can talk, we can mm -hmm. work it out, we mm -hmm. can find the best solution for mm -hmm. Thailand. Mm -hmm. And this is the time, the and I would invite the society, mm -hmm. the citizens, mm -hmm. to come together and work it out. Government is so happy to lead but mm. government needs individuals mm. cooperation. cooperation yes uh, especially the private sector could play a very important role do you think so? uh, economically we will, go, certainly. But they, we will go but they will stay on i'll They'll give you be. one example yes, uh, as i mentioned earlier we have uh, adopted uh, many uh, good policies some mm. of which uh, have never been done before uh, in order to provide incentives for private sector to innovate mm to do more in research, mm. to put in more money in their research. Mm. Today, we have done on our part, the mm. government, mm. providing tax incentive, providing human resources uh, needed by mm. the private sector, mm. provided uh, uh, common infrastructure uh, for them to mm. utilize. It's mm. up to the business today to get up to get and up. invest more in knowledge creation, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to invest more to innovate so that they will have better products and service that of are com competitive mm -hmm. in the world market. Uh, we are ready, uh, mm -hmm. so uh, just join hands and uh, walk together forward. Internationally, we are also moving ahead. In, 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 in a week or two, uh, mm -hmm. our Deputy Prime Minister, Dr. Somkit Chatup Sivitak, will lead uh, five or six uh, ministers uh, to, to Japan mm. uh, to encourage our partner, in this case Japan, Japan. to work with us in mm. getting Thailand up and running, mm. especially to be uh, central to the greater Mekong sub-region, mm. for instance. Mm. Because uh, Japan itself uh, as a, a friend in need, a friend indeed really, because at times, many times they've been helping. So last but not least is the is uh, how you to draw, as you were saying that about uh, going out to, to draw attention of the foreign investors. But locally, how do you have any plan for, uh, to, to, to boost up the foreign investor to come right. in? If, if you uh, uh, group them into three groups. Yes, sir. Uh, first, multinational companies. Mm -hmm. Certainly, we, we have a good uh, ease of doing business environment mm -hmm. uh, for them. We want them to come. Yeah. We want them to invest. Mm -hmm. We want them, them to, to spend employ money. and yes. to spend money. Mm. Uh, and and uh, uh, lately, we, we have seen good signal mm. that uh, many of them in many important sectors uh, are now doing more, mm. uh, investing more, uh, mm. especially in research and development. Okay. Secondly, we, we have the, the, the Thai large enterprises. Yes, sir. And today, they are growing. Mm. And not only domestically, they are also growing in, in neighboring countries. Mm. Thirdly, we have small and medium enterprises. We mm. have a number of packages mm. to support them. And fourth, as we have been saying all along, here, innovators or startups mm. uh, that we are now providing ecosystem and some financial assistance mm. to get them to, to do better. Very interesting. So we have another, uh, after we have uh, still to, to talk because to prove that uh, government and yourself as a minister taking care of all these kind of things. So you're going to arrange some fair for this, but we're going to come back for that. Okay. Yes. So uh, Thailand today would like to thank the Science and Technology Minister, Dr. Bridget Dorongka Road for keeping us abreast of the government's push homegrown innovation towards global recognitions. So come back and I will see you again. Thank you Thank very you much. much. Thank you for watching Thailand today. I'm Kusuma Yotashwood. We'll see you again tomorrow. Sadika.